going to worship an AI God. They're going to be members of an AI religion. We're not making this up, folks. We're the, no. Listen, we're in the last days. Christ yes. is coming back. Yes. And in hour number two, Big Jim Shaw, the Worm Man, is back. And we're going to turn him loose. Yesterday he was here, and we just had a nice uh, brotherly interview mm-hmm. about his business and, and what the Lord is uh, put in his heart to say and do. But today, I ask him to come back and just preach the Word of God, uncompromised, unrestricted, just go for it, Jim. And that's what he's going to be doing in hour number two. It's going to be a very good program. It sure is. It always is, Rick, because we are here to what? Inform, inspire, and reveal. And reveal, that's right. Yes. And we want this program to be salty. Yeah. We want to shine brightly. Shine. We want to love everybody. Yes. That's our motto here at True News. Amen. Taste salty, shine brightly, love everybody. That's right. Now, I got to tell you something. We just finished this studio. Uh, we we got to finish last Friday. Mm-hmm. And actually, we were still here on the weekend oh, on yes. Saturday, still doing the last minute touches oh, yes. to it. And uh, our daughter, Carissa, designed it and built it. I want, you, I want you to know this. This studio came to her in a dream in the year 2003. She came into my office. This is when we lived in Texas. She came into my office and described a dream that she had that the night before in which she saw a television studio. Amazing. And, and then in 2007, God gave me a vision of a television studio. It's the same thing. Now, in my, the vision that I had in 2007, there was a stream of water running through the, 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 the studio. It was a church. What he showed me was a church, and there was a stream of water running through it. So our daughter, Carissa, and our son-in-law, Marshall, are missionaries in Ecuador. And Carissa has been home visiting, and we didn't have any plans to build the studio during her visit. But this all came together quickly, and Carissa said, Dad, I'll build it for you. Well, we didn't even know it was going to be this patio, this outdoor patio. Yeah. We didn't know that we were going to have a waterfall. There's we a working not. waterfall back there. <laughs> Fiora's got a true story. You've got to hear this true story. Tell our audience what happened before there was anything here. This was just an empty room. Amen. So for the glory of God, we were doing a segment for the J Factor, and it was a testimony, Mr. Glenn Greenstein, for those of you who watched it, right? Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, And we're going to probably re-air it again. It was so powerful. But to your question, Rick, what happened was we were sitting right right here, not too far from where we are, right behind, and we were uh, facing each other. And right before we were setting up, doing all the audio checks and lighting um, perfections and things like that, uh, he, he looked at me and he says, he called me uh, Waterfall. He and called I, you Waterfall? He, he called me Waterfall. And of course, that, you know, Waterfall, I think of Jesus right away. Right. I think of the Holy Spirit, right? So you could call me that any day. I don't, Fior Hernandez, whatever, right? And um, I just kind of said, um, okay, amen. And he was happy that I received it, but then he just went on to explain, I just see uh, flowing water coming out of you. I just see like a stream of flowing water. So Rick, long story short, I was in front. He was facing me, but that. There was no waterfall there. No. There was no studio here. It's just empty space. And our name, uh, our, our, our name of our church is Flowing yes. Streams. In fact, that is part of my response to him. I said, well, you are at Flowing Streams. And he was like, wow, I am? That's right. 